So much of our, our medical training is rooted in diagnoses and knowing what to do on a medical level. But once you get experience in providing care to people, you realize that there's such a human side to what we do. Welcome to Cincinnati Children's. You're joining a very special place. We offer the highest level of patient and family-centered care, a supportive environment for translational research, a caring culture that is committed to the highest safety, professionalism, diversity, equity, and inclusion. My colleagues and I have more to share about what you can expect in this visit at Cincinnati Children's. It's the reason why the vast majority of us in this hospital have gone into healthcare, is to engage with our patients and families, to make a meaningful difference for them. Taking time to connect with both the patient as the child and the parents as well. Uh, we really have a unique uh, aspect of pediatrics in that we have multiple audiences and multiple people that we need to connect to. In addition to the highest level of patient and family-centered care, Cincinnati Children's Mission also focuses on research and education. Your email inbox will be filled with announcements of many seminars, research talks, symposia that are going on. Take advantage of those and it's an opportunity to hear from great researchers but also to rub shoulders with others that are also in the same area. I think that the collaboration here is really special and the emphasis on mentoring and career development and the emphasis on recognizing that we really need to develop the pipeline of researchers that are going to come after us. Our culture of safety is one of the strongest in pediatric health care. One of the core things about safety here is that everybody gets it that we want to keep our patients safe and our families safe, but it's also including ourselves. You often have instincts, insights that something may be going a little bit askew, it doesn't quite make sense. You need to be comfortable enough to speak up about that. The flip side of that is that people need to be listening up, pausing, stopping, hearing what people are saying, perhaps even drawing out things from them when they're not quite clear on what they're worried about. In addition to speaking up about what's potentially not going right, if you have a better idea how to do things, we'd encourage you to share that as well. One example of the way we support a culture of safety is in our process of handing off patient information. And I think it's important to recognize that handoffs are not just about communicating from physician to physician. It's really important that all members of the healthcare team are involved in that handoff, such that we're having a multidisciplinary discussion and that everyone has the same shared mental model in order to make sure we're providing comprehensive and safe patient care. We're also committed to making quality improvement part of our cultural fabric. This is sort of the Disney world of hospitals. We have the imagination to think beyond what people do every single day. We push the limits. We think about what can be, not what we currently do. Everybody wants to do the right thing, but how do we measure what we're doing so that we actually don't just feel like we're doing a better job, but we know that we're doing a better job and we see numbers that are improving and lives that are being saved. One of the best things that we can do is ask the people who do the work, what do you think we can do a little bit differently? People have amazing ideas and here at Cincinnati Children's, we wanna tap into those. And if we fix those things, we can free everybody up to focus on what really matters and that's taking care of our patients and our families and each other. We expect the behavior of people who work at Cincinnati Children's to be professional and respectful. I think it begins with you. As an individual, you have to respect yourself first. We want you to listen, we want you to be truthful, we want you to be honest with the families, we want you to communicate well, we want you to make sure that your way of postures and eyes and the way you interact with people, it's in an open, respectful format that I'm pretty sure you will expect the same thing if you happen to come here with your family and your children to be cared for. The Cincinnati children's culture might be different than other healthcare environments, but it's different by design. We want those who provide care here to see what makes us stand apart, including our commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion. At Cincinnati Children, we aspire to create a more diverse, equitable, and inclusive workplace. A place where we can improve child health for all kids, where we treat everyone with dignity and respect, including if you don't agree. This journey starts with you and will require us to change as one Cincinnati Children's. We are not anymore a little hospital in Cincinnati. We deliver care for many, many cultures and many people. I am looking in five years 
where our behaviors will be in the conversation that we feel culturally competent addressing all of the situations where our families, our patients, our employees can be stuck, where the knowledge start growing to become to be really the number one institution for kids. So welcome to Cincinnati Children's. This is a wonderful place that really is focused on clinical care, research, and education. It's really a culture of collaboration, inclusion, with a focus on safety, and a focus of working all together to improve outcomes for children. Take advantage of all that Cincinnati Children's has to offer, and we are here to help you meet your goals.